Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about Elon Musk and Twitter because for some reason everybody is talking about Elon Musk and Twitter. He's definitely gonna turn Twitter upside down. Oh yeah. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about him charging for Twitter blue and that is the only way you're gonna be able to get your blue check. Well, speaking of which, I'm sure this, a message to Elon Musk is gonna be interesting. We can look at that in a We're minute. We're looking at that. Okay. I've got that. I've got that hashtag pulled up. All right. So. Uh, Can't wait. Buckle up for more talk about Space Daddy and Twitter having a meltdown. Look, you don't have to be a fan of Elon Musk, but you gotta admit, it's very satisfying to watch Twitter freak out. Oh yeah, a lot of people don't like Elon Musk, but they're like, ha 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 You deserve it. Yeah, kind of. You deserve Elon Musk. You deserve everything you get, Twitter. So, we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 280,000 subs. Yay! about yeah. that yeah thank you Yay. for the support yeah, guys we just hit 300 yeah we're on to 300 300 so hit the subscribe button it definitely helps us uh, we do cover mostly pop culture news we're covering twitter because it is so uh i guess broken broken and tied to pop culture and broken journalists have been using twitter to manipulate pop culture mm -hmm. for years and, and hollywood and hollywood and, and bully people and bully people and get them canceled from movies and and uh, TV shows and all of that jazz, and it's, it's it's coming to a head here. So Musk put out uh, this tweet on Twitter, which he yeah. owns. I do like this tweet, it's funny. Yeah, Twitter's current lords and peasants system for who has or doesn't have a blue check mark is bullshit. Agreed. Power to the people, blue for $8 a month. Now he elaborates. Uh, price adjusted by country proportionate to purchasing power parity. That's uh, fun to say. Proportionate to purchasing power parity. Proportionate right. to purchasing power parity. So like a country that's not as affluent, he's not going to charge as much. So it's going to be, you know, the, about the same for their country. Like what, what $8 is equivalent to for us is what it's going to be for their equivalency. Right, right. Okay. So we're not going to be like, oh my God, $8 a month. That's what we make in a year here in... I don't think that's the way it is in now for most places. Twitter Slavia. That's Twitter Slavia, okay. Twitter Slavia. Uh, people will also get priority in replies, mentions in search, which is essential to defeat spam and scam, mm -hmm. ability to post long video and audio. Oh, that's interesting. I like that That's one. very interesting. He was actually talking to Mr. Beast the other day about bringing Vine back, and he's like, well, if you bring Vine back, TikTok is already doing it. You Wait a minute. We were talking about Vine the other we, day. We were talking about that. I would like to see some... I, it sounds to me like Twitter is going to be doing more than what Twitter has done. I'd but, go to Vine. Yeah, yeah. I'm we sure we can get it. We can get an in on that. If sure. It's Mr. Beast. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we could. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, anyway, make some phone calls. Uh, half as many ads. Half as many ads. Uh, paywall bypass for publishers willing to work with us. Uh, Clownfish TV and Pirates and Princesses. Dot net trademark of Web Reef Media Company and Clownfish Studios, by the way. <laughs> Nobody else. Suck it, our ex-partner. Suck it, ex-partner. We won that. As just, of today. It just got in through today. So Three years. So, bitch tried to steal our, our Pirates and Princesses' name. If you've been with us for a while, you know what I'm talking about. And it, we, we went after her, and we finally, it took us a while, but we finally got it. It was trademarked officially to us today. So, uh, she can sit and spin. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think she can sit and spin with that site that's completely worthless now because we're she not running it. She killed it. We built it up. She ran to the ground. So fuck her. So yes, uh, Web Reef Media uh, sites would be happy to work with you, Mr. Musk. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. I'll call him up right now. That's right, because he's going to bring down our vendetta. He's he's going to rain his vendettas, like clownfish's vendettas, because you know we tell him what to do, like some people on Twitter think. Uh, Anyway, this will give Twitter a revenue stream to reward content creators. Oh, God. So, oh, what's that sound like? Oh, this well, is gonna get now, interesting, this it? is going to get interesting. So, yeah, we're going to go after the TikTokers and the YouTubers if they can stand working with Mr. Musk. There will be secondary a secondary tag below the name for someone who is a public figure, which is already the case for politicians. OK, so they'll still be acknowledged as separate, you know, like. You know what I mean? They'll have the blue check, but they'll have that they're acknowledged as a public figure. Right. So basically what the purpose of the verification is going to do, if I understand it correctly, is make sure that the person you're interacting with is a real person because they would have had to verify their identity and, uh, you know, their information, payment information. So you're not going to have, you know, uh, I don't know, Shira Stan 662967 
you know, if you want to filter that shit out, you can do oh, it. Oh, which I would completely filter that shit out. I think this is funny. Cat turd. Uh, I will pay a thousand dollars per month if you give me and only me a special brown check mark, skid mark, verification. <laughs> okay, that's fun. I want a little. I want a little fishy mark. How much does that cost? I'll do the I don't fish, know. fish mark. Uh, I didn't ask for the blue check mark. It showed up one day, so feel free to take it away. My peeps know it's me. With liberty and verification for all. Uh, how will you protect against impersonators who pay $8 a month for a similar username that appears indistinguishable from a real person, especially if they both have blue check That's marks. actually a good question. It actually is a good question. I don't know. That is a good question. We accept Dogecoin. What about, what about people who can't afford $8 a month? Well, then you shouldn't be on Twitter because that's what they, they, they track all these people with free. That's why there's so many bot accounts because it's free. You know, I hate to be that guy. I hate to be that guy. But... It does seem to be that anytime there is a platform that is free and open to everybody, we have a lot of people come in and squat on that platform and then try to drive and other people out of the platform. They usually tend to be people of a certain type. Yes. You know, what, yes. Was that, what was that? She-Ra 666? Six, 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 six. Yeah, there, there is. I mean, this is what happened with Tumblr. Uh, same thing. It was like, oh, it's basically free hosting. Uh, poster art, poster stuff, whatever. And everybody, you know, went on the Tumblr like, oh my God, it's free. And then they actually had, I remember they had on, a, I think it was Comics Beat, they had to post an article. Hey, all you web comics artists, don't depend on free hosting on Tumblr forever because they could just take it away. And it's like, well. I do think this is funny, Matt Walsh. I agree that there still should be a verification system for people who are frequently impersonated by fake accounts, which we've had happen to us. Yes. I like the idea of a blue check for actual public figures, not obscure media people with 600 followers. Ooh. And a different color for other verified accounts. I think that's funny because, yeah, we brought this up many times. I'm, somebody wrote an article once for some blog that has a blue check. And because that outlet has a blue check, they get a blue check. And it's like, yeah. We've seen it many, many times. And they're like, I got a blue check, loser. <laughs> check section. I'm a shitlord. Pretty much. That's it. Like, you have to listen to me because I wrote three articles for Polygon in 2016. Uh, yeah. So let's let's talk about um, let's talk about the uh, controversy here. It's a, it's a non-troversy. I mean, look, Elon Musk is a man who likes to make money. He's good at making money. He's made a lot of money. That's why he can afford forty four billion dollars for a piece of shit website. And he's going to make it make money. Oh, he overpaid. There's oh, no doubt. Oh, he way doubt. overpaid for he it. He way overpaid for this. Um, so the Hollywood Reporter, Elon Musk defends controversial $20. See, they were talking about $20. $20 blue check Twitter plan uh, to Stephen King. So he's got Stephen King coming out and dunking on People are like, you're, bitch, you're Stephen King. You're going to complain about paying 20 Stephen, Wait, wait. Stephen King complains about most everything. And he's super uber political now for whatever reason. I don't know what happened to Stephen King. Like, uh, remember, Stephen. And look, I like some of his books. But you're also the man who wrote It. And there's a child orgy at the end of it. So, you know. At the end of it. At the end of it. That's how they finish it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, the new Twitter owner has fired back at the author. Who, who's horrified, F that reaction to a plan to charge for a verification went viral. We need to pay the bills somehow. How about eight bucks? Uh, how about that? Uh, on Monday, King went viral with his reaction to a report that Musk wanted to charge verified users a whopping $20 a month to keep their checkmark status. No, that's checkmark plus. They, they don't want to ads. pay for it. They just want to be, they just want to lord it over you, but they don't want to actually pay for it. I, yeah. Uh, how valuable to you is Twitter? Because every every other social media platform has become pay to play. Even Facebook, like if you want, like anybody can post on Facebook, but if you actually want your shit to get seen, you gotta pay to boost. I mean, that's that's basically it, and that's how they're gonna do it. Uh, Twenty dollars a month to keep my blue check. King tweeted to six point nine million followers. Fuck that. They should pay me. If that gets instituted, I'm gone like Enron. Well, that's a very old. <laughs> Okay. He's very old. <laughs> anyway. When, uh, the most of his followers are probably like, what? Uh, I mean, when, the other ones are like beep bop. Like yeah, beep, when, bop, when bop, Stephen beep. King was relevant, Enron was still in business, okay? When a reader told King he could afford the fee, the best-selling author replied, it ain't the money, it's the principle of the thing. Well, yeah, he's freaking Stephen King. He can, he can afford to buy Maine. 538 political guru Nate Silver, probably a blue check, uh, similarly wrote to his 3.5 million followers, I'm probably the perfect target for this. Use Twitter a ton, can afford $20 a month, but not 
Not particularly anti-Elon, but my reaction is that I've generated a ton of valuable free content for Twitter over the years, and they can go fuck themselves. Basically, you're making money from off of me. Early Tuesday, Musk responded to the uproar, replying directly to Stephen King. We need to pay the bills somehow. Twitter cannot entirely rely on advertisers. There is talk that some people are going to bail, especially if they bring he who should not be named, he who shall not be named back to the platform, which I don't know if that's actually going to happen. But uh, how about eight bucks? Uh, Musk suggested that additional clarity on the matter is still to come. We talked about that. And yeah, they're going to have to. Um, they're going to have to. Now they're going on to how uh, uh, TechCrunch is dubbing it a, a misinformation nightmare. It's a potentially a misinformation nightmare because he oh, fired yeah. you know what? trust and safety Tw lawyers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Twitter already is a misinformation nightmare. <sighs> Let's be fucking honest for a minute. I'm so tired of this lie, this lie that keeps perpetuating itself. There have been several instances of the things that have happened. And Twitter has silenced things that have happened. Yes. And if you talked about it, it was misinformation, even though you were telling the truth the entire fucking time. But it was for political reasons, let's be honest, for political and control reasons, they silenced or, you know, booted people off. I'm not necessarily talking about Trump, but I'm saying in general, like laptop articles didn't get posted. And anytime people posted about women having uh, issues with the uh, vaccine and things like that and, and, and any of that stuff, it was misinformation, misinformation, political stuff that wasn't um, far, far left, misinformation. I do not want to fucking hear it for one minute about safety concerns and misinformation because Twitter has been peddling misinformation disguised as the authority for a while now. So they don't get to fucking say that. And I'm sorry, my mom doesn't want me to say the F word, but in this case, I think she'll completely agree with me. It's a load of shit and I'm tired of hearing it. That is a big lie. It's been misinformation. Any social media site is gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have information that's, you're gonna do your own research. That's what I'm gonna tell you, no matter where you are, social media, it's not their job to police what's information and what's not. Well, yes it is. And he fired some of the people that were in charge of that. Well, like, you go, so you don't even do social media. You go to work, right? And your, your friends at work, there are people that they're telling you all these different things. And some of it's true and some of it's not. What do you do? You go fucking look it up. And you do your, your basic research. But what happens is the media, pol certain politicians, certain political entities, and certain outlets, news outlets, and quotes, which is why CNN has to backtrack their shit, they're all putting same, they're like lockstepping it. We've seen it on Twitter with these journals and lockstep. We're going to talk about that later, aren't we? They're yes. lockstepping the shit to try to make it look like they know what they're talking about or try to, because there's a, 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 some kind of thing that they're pushing for that, that group and it benefits them. It doesn't have to be the fucking truth. So what I'm getting tired of is hearing that's about misinformation and lies. I don't like misinformation and lies, but the whole idea that this has been nothing but truth is a flat out misinformation and yeah. lie. Yeah, there's been, I mean, I'm not going to get into it too much because I don't know how much I can get into on, on YouTube, speaking of, you know, being accused of misinformation. But there are multiple groups out there that are already trying to, uh, you know, get their meat hooks into the new regime at Twitter and be like, well, you need to do this and you need to ban that and you need to run it through the verification. And you need to do this and you need to do that. And he is going to put a council together to try to, you know, have some basic guidelines. Yeah, you basic have some kind of order. rubrics. People know what they can and can't right. do. Right. The, the, the problem is, is we have one side of the aisle can spout off uh, half-truths or untruths, and they actually are proven to be half-truths or untruths, and the other side of the aisle might even have something that's half-true or completely true, and they weren't allowed to post it. It was misinformation because it didn't agree with the side in charge. Let's be honest. Most of the stuff you see on there is misinformation in some form or another. From a certain point of view. It's the internet. I mean, it's, it's, it's all the internet. about, yeah, it's all about how to leverage. I mean, the, the whole idea that there wasn't misinformation before is a load of shit. So, uh, you know, he's already pulling his Tesla people into it. I think most of the engineers are going to get gone. He's basically given these guys, uh, I think, till the 7th or 8th of November to get this new blue check system. And so he's like hitting, hitting the ground running. Not only did he, uh, you know, get in there, fire management at the top. And apparently there's a whole drama behind that, that they were trying to tank the deal or whatever. Um, you know, fire them for cause, probably going to be more lawsuits. Uh, and um, he's already got his people in there like, yeah, we're going to make this thing profitable. Like, kind of like boom. Twitter employees say managers instructed them to work 12 hour shifts, seven days a week to hit Musk's aggressive deadlines and their, that their jobs are at stake. Well, maybe if you had worked 
the whole time instead of Having taking, you know, the grits. one guy, the one guy, like, I worked only four day or four hours this week. Uh, maybe it wouldn't be in this position, but I'm just like, we have to work seven days a week, 12 hour shifts. I wonder what that's like. Yeah, I wouldn't know what that's like. I've never done that. Um, so yeah, you know, this is basically him coming in and being like, 44 billion dollars. I have got to get as much of my money back as possible, and I have to prove to he the world overpaid. he, he did. way overpaid. Um, and he might actually wind up getting some of that money back if it turns out that the well, yeah, if it turns was, out that they lied to yeah. keep the price up, he might. Who yep. knows? Yep. So um, he's got 50 trusted trusted Tesla employees, mostly software engineers, um, involved in this now. And uh, yeah, he's going to make it profitable. And you know what? Everybody's going to bitch about it. Everybody's going to bitch about it, but you're all going to pay it. Because you're all, yeah, you're all going to say it. You can't stand it. You can't stand that somebody you don't like got complete 100% control of your platform of choice, a place that you've invested countless hundreds of hours into over the last, especially the last four to five years, you can't stand it. Oh my God, speaking of hippos, if Elon Musk's money, if I had his money, I would seriously spend my life trying to solve world problems and help people. So they're doing that whole thing again, where you could have you know, bought every you know, veteran homeless vet, which I, 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 I want to take a side note to say, I think homeless, I think vets in general gets, get shafted like crazy. And there is a problem. There's so many vets who need help and they don't get the help they need, but other people get help. And I, I think that's bullshit. Anyway, there are 40,000 homeless vets and they're talking about the cost of a 3D printed house is $20,000. He could have bought a house for every homeless vet. Back that up a little bit. When did we start 3D printing houses? Oh, they've houses? been. But they're like, it's a concrete thing. Okay. In the rebar. They're three, oh, you've never seen that? Oh, they, no. they totally do it. Um, but like, you know, again, it, it's here's, oh, he could use his money to do that. I'm so tired of hearing that because people that they, these people kiss ass to could have used their money. They don't. You know what I'm saying? $20,000, uh, Kurt Eichenwald. He was a guy, he was a journo. He actually was kind of siding with the comics gate people. And then he got busted for having like tentacle hentai or something on his laptop. Who doesn't have hentai? Well, that I don't. I don't have hentai on my laptop. Do you? <laughs> no, I don't know what I, I meant to say. How many, how many of these people on Twitter don't have it. I mean, not we have it. I don't know. They need to have a little octopus badge that you can pay for. That's not how I meant it. Oh, the people. tentacle badge. No. I know what you're into. Oh, I you've meant. got a little blue check wolf head. You're a yipper, aren't you? I meant, I meant. There's so many out there that have it on their computers. Who doesn't at this point? Um, I didn't mean like us. I just meant like, okay, I'm not talking anymore. That's okay. Oh, That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Here's the Jewish ginger resistor. See, you're not the only the mm -hmm. only one. Elon Musk is complaining Twitter needs to charge eight dollars a month to make money, yet it was worth forty four billion without the subscription. Oh, it no. wasn't worth it. It wasn't. Much. He's I'm telling you, he knew he knew. I think he knew they were trying to sabotage the deal and he's gonna walk away from this thing paying a lot less. I, I think. Um just hanging out to watch you lose more and more money. Just fire everyone. I'm sure you can do everything yourself. Says this blue wave fist frozen liberal. Oh, they put a blue wave on there because they couldn't get a blue check. <laughs> okay, it's pay, almost as good. Pay dollars. I feel like we shouldn't have to tell an adult that it's wrong to tweet out disgusting conspiracy theories about an 82 year old man who was almost murdered in his own home. What the heck? He tweeted something about the Pelosi attack. They deleted it, and the media. Oh, pounced he shouldn't have done it. that. Um, he shouldn't have done the that. The media pounced on it. Uh, See, I'm not even, we don't live on the yeah, here, online. Here we go. Here we go. Um, free speech does not include disinformation. Uh, well, wait, wait, it did, but it did before Elon Musk. It did Musk last was, year. <laughs> it did before Elon totally Musk. Totally did last year. It did last week. It did last month. They're all going to pay it. You're all going to pay it. Well, the ones who can pay it are going to pay it. The rest of you are going to go fund Go fund me for it. Or you're going to try to find an alternative and you're going to realize that there isn't a better alternative. I love this. Just remember, all the people on the left who said Twitter was a private company and could do whatever it wants now doesn't believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, message to Elon Musk. Keep up the great work. Twitter, don't let insecure activists that cheer for authoritarianism and oppression think they matter anymore. Twitter will be better if I they agree. leave. Um, yeah, and then they'll just go someplace else and infect that, run that one into the ground. Uh, rinse and repeat. This has happened at LiveJournal. This has happened on multiple message boards. Uh, this happened at Reddit. Um, this happened at Tumblr. And uh, yeah, I mean, really what it's going to take is for somebody to come in to any one of these these 
companies and be like, yeah, the, the bullshit ends. Speaking of other social media companies, um, I, I read an article yesterday that Apple and Facebook, I guess, are taking notes on Elon Musk's management style. Like, wait. To use it themselves? Yes. They're Ooh. like, wait, if we threaten our workers with termination instead of giving them lattes, they work harder. Look, I don't I don't think it's right to threaten people like with termination no, no. In, in like a dictator way. I think though if your people aren't doing their damn job, it, it, you know, saying, "Hey, if you don't start doing your job, I might have to replace you" isn't an unfair thing to say. $96 a year is not free speech, Elon Musk. No, it's It wasn't free speech before. It was free speech for them, which is what they're meant. They were free to bully whoever the hell they wanted and get away with it. And now they're going to be like, well, we, they can, people can fight back and they don't like that. Uh, that's just it. That's, that's the difference. I, I it's not going to be, I don't think it's going to be a free for all. I think it's going to be, um, you're going to be able to weed out the bots a lot easier. Weed out the fake accounts a lot easier. And frankly, uh, the majority of people who are causing most of the problems on Twitter don't have blue checks. They just have like 55 old accounts and that shit's going to end too. Or if they have old accounts, you can just ignore them because they're not going to pay $8 a month times 55. But you, even if you did, you'd have to verify each of those as yeah, people. Right? You have to prove it. So there we go, guys. Everybody freaking out. Oh my God. How dare you? How dare you ask us to pay? Because I can't pay my Netflix bill and my Twitter You're bill You're supposed to just month. buy this and pay for it for us to have the privilege of sitting here and bullying everybody all day for free. The times are changing. You know that pendulum swing I've been talking about? Man, he just pushed it all the effing way. I just thought they keep going on about, oh, because he could have paid for people to eat. I was like, so could you. If you all you people that are sitting here bitching and complaining about it, if you all said $100 to like some organization, you probably all could you collectively you know, do what you keep complaining he didn't do. But you don't do that, do you? You complain about having to pay eight bucks on Twitter instead. You're going to play about eight bucks. Over here is world hunger. Why is it his job to solve world hunger? It's not. That's their That's their go-to. That is their go-to always. If you is you've got too much if these, money. If all these people who are complaining on here truly believed it, and they truly spent, set up a thing and paid a hundred bucks each to it, they could put a big debt in world hunger. But they're not going to do that. They're going to sit here and bitch out it was everybody else's job to, to, to do that. Wait, <laughs> There's a cake in the Twitter break room. You're dead to us now. We hope you fail. I don't think that's actually in the Twitter break room. Oh, hey, misogyny, disinformation, racism. I hate to break it to you. Who is this dipshit? Go back up. No, next one. Oh, it's a cartoonist. Yeah, okay. I hate to break it to you, Jet. These things were already existing on Twitter before Elon Musk came. There's been the most hateful, bigoted, misogynistic, racist, Bullshit I've ever seen has been out of the far left people. I've seen them tell people to kill themselves. I've seen them. Albert, I was always Donna again. She defended Chris Pratt because she knows him and he's her friend. And, or she at least works with him. And then as a result, the people that were on the extreme stream, oh, we're for diversity and inclusion, turned around and started calling her racist, horrible racist names. Because she didn't do what they wanted. Well, last time I checked, that would consider that would be disinformation, that would be racism, that would be misogyny, and it sure as hell was hate. So it wasn't invented by Elon Musk. It isn't just a new thing taking over. You're just mad because people like you who made this cartoon have been out there doing it for you know years, but, it, but now you're not going to be allowed to exclusively go around and do all this stuff disguised as righteousness. Because that's not because I'm so tired of seeing these people. Some people kill themselves. I got called vulgar words for female anatomy in Spanish because I, I because by a dude uh, who was trying to argue with me about misogyny because I didn't like character he liked on Star Wars. And that so it, does, it didn't just exist now. Yeah, this is going to be fun. So take those eggs and shove them up your ass where they came from. Yeah, shove them right back up in your... Suck it, Jen. There you go. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I, I think we're going to wrap this up. This is going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. This is going to be a lot of fun because all these people that have lived on Twitter parked it here. A bunch of freaking squatters for years. And then all of you say, you should have paid for more. You should have stopped more hunger. You should have bought houses or people. So should you people. Instead of sitting here on Twitter all day, go put your money where your mouth is and do something about the world. Yeah, you do it. You do it. Right. If you're, because why, you, these, and then my next thing is, go find all the other people who have money that, you know, that, that your politicians, go get your politicians that you love so much. Go tell them, why aren't you stopping world hunger? Do you, uh, 
Yeah, do you have a house? You should just give your house to some homeless well, person. Why isn't Stephen King stopping world hunger? Why, Stephen King's got lots of money. Why, why isn't Stephen King out there donating money and, and trying to help the, the, the homeless vets and stop world hunger? He can help some vets. He can't I'm help I'm saying all if all these people complaining actually put their money where their mouth is, they could actually m prove their point and do something. But that requires actually doing something and not just talking about it on the fucking internet. Ah, oh, the fucking internet. The internet's going to be full of fuckery. Very I know, I'm sorry. I'm just so sick of the shit. I, 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 I don't like Elon Musk. I'm just sick of the shit. I, I like that they're this angry. That's what I love. I freaking love it. I'm like, I have waited. I have waited for this blessed day for four or five years now. Because I'm like, Twitter is broken. It's fundamentally broken. It was a good platform and it's broken. And God, I love it. Because these people are just like, oh my God, what are we going to do? You bastard, you're going to make us pay. And you're all going to pay. You're all going to pay. Anyway, because you can't stand it. You can't quit Twitter. Can you? Holy shit, where's the Tylenol? And the cat videos. Yeah, we'll have more cat videos. They'll, they'll be like a buck a piece to post a cat video. No, to view the cat video. To view the cat. Yeah, we're gonna paywall the pussies on Twitter. That's how he's gonna make a lot of money. Paywall the pussies. All right, we're we gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Don't miss Clownfish Studios' latest crowdfunder, Crimson Wren Volume 1 on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Thaddeus Wendell's greatest treasure is out there, and it's up to young mage Crimson Wren and the crew of a rundown airship called the True North to find it. But will they find it in time? Crimson Wren of the True North is a race against the clock filled with action, adventure, comedy, and heart. This is a brand new manga-style graphic novel from Clownfish Studios. Go to crimsonwren.com or check it out on Indiegogo and Kickstarter. It ends on November 18th, that's November 18th, and now on with the video.